Hello everyone, uh, this uh, this tutorial is going to be on Chomsky normal form uh, that is how to convert uh, a context free grammar into a, a set of production set of context free grammar into Chomsky normal form. Now a Chomsky normal form is a grammar where production is either in the form of A goes to BC or A goes to B uh, which means that it would have one one variable should go towards two variables and not more than that it should not have a goes to b or like it should not one variable should not point to just one variable a single variable or more than two variables it needs to have exactly two variables and that means it can't have a terminal and a variable or two terminals it could have one terminal acceptable but, uh, but it could not have two terminals now if you want to know what variables and terminals are you should look at the previous video on context free grammar which shows uh, which explains what are variables and what are terminals uh, now to brief it up variables are the capital letter words and terminals are the small letter words but that's not actually a formal definition variable variables are the ones which have rules on the left hand side which can be replaced uh, or derived but terminals are the ones that stay on the right hand side and do, do not appear again in the left hand side ever right so yeah so the three main concepts of chomsky of converting a context free grammar into chomsky normal form is to have a variable pointing towards two variables not more than that not less than that a variable pointing towards one terminal and a, and if there is an epsilon transition then it should always be going from the start symbol not from any other variable like it should not be a goes to epsilon or b goes to epsilon it should only just be s goes to the epsilon now how do we remove these uh, how do we remove the uh, rules that are not uh, in chomsky normal form for example this is in chomsky normal form right so no this is actually not in chomsky normal form because uh, also uh, the start symbol should always appear just once on the left hand side it can't be on the right hand side once so if this was not a start symbol then all, then obviously this uh, chomsky this context free grammar would be in chomsky normal form but if it's if this is the start symbol then this is not in chomsky normal form to verify this further let's look at some uh, rules on uh, rules on how to eliminate eliminate uh, eliminate grammars which are not in which do not follow these three principles that is a goes to a variable goes to two variables a variable goes to one terminal right so first of all <clears throat> let's look at this let's read up this rule it says that a start symbol always has to appear on the left side of a production right so a start symbol has to appear on the left side it cannot appear on the right side and if it does if it does appear on the right side of a production then you have to remove that that kind of production like for example this this here s is the start symbol and it appears on the left side fine that's fine but it also appears on the right side so to remove a rule like this what we do is we replace we make another start symbol we find a new start symbol and then uh, point that start symbol towards this uh, the previous start symbol so the previous start symbol was s the new start symbol is s naught so s naught will point towards s so s naught is is a start symbol it always appears on the left side and it will never it should never appear on the right side right so uh, let's go to another one remove productions where a variable other than the start symbol points to epsilon now, this was mentioned that if there is a if there is a production where a variable points to epsilon the variable should be the start symbol if it's not the start symbol then you have to remove that production so how do we remove or replace that production to replace this kind of production what we do is suppose it's given that b points to b a b a c b something all right and a is present here so what we do is we replace a with epsilon all the occurrences of epsilon for example there are two a's so we replace b a b c a b with just uh, we replace all the a's with epsilon we replace one a with epsilon and we'll keep the other one as it is and we replace the other a with epsilon and keep the other one as it is so then we get uh, we remove this rule we don't need we don't need this rule anymore so we just have this this uh, uh, this transformed to to this rule and a goes to epsilon is successfully removed 
right so again now let's go around the unit productions on the right side recall that the chomsky normal form begs that a goes to bc that is one variable should point to two variables but it should not point to more than two variables or less than two variables so if there is just one variable and uh, like this like a goes to b and to remove a rule like this suppose b goes to x y is given so then we write another rule where a goes to x y and then we remove this rule so that we have unit unit uh, we remove the unit production unit variables in productions so a goes to x y and b goes to x y so this is the same thing a goes to a b b goes to x y but we just write directly a goes to x y so we skip this b these two b's and then we go to a goes to x y right these are rules that you need to remember in order to convert the grammar in the Chomsky normal form. Uh, practice would definitely make it happen faster in the exam, but uh, for the moment, remember all these five rules and steps and you're gold. So, remove rules with more than two variables on the right side. So, we removed rules where there was just one variable on the right side, but if there are more than two variables, for example, four variables or five variables or as many variables, what we do is we do just replacing we replace each variable on the we replace the last variables and keep the first variable constant so a goes to bx so x will be equals to cde uh, but cde is still three variables that's not acceptable so we replace de further with y so then again y goes to de that's acceptable because there are two variables and x goes to cy and a goes to bx so b C and DE are present we just introduce two new variables X and Y by replacing each time now remove rules where the right side consists of more than one terminal uh, we, we uh, in Chomsky normal form we could only accept one terminal on the right side always in the exam whenever you are uh, solving this always write the three basic rules in, in the, the start to help you so this is the three basic rules this one this one uh, this one that is a uh, variable should point to two variables a variable should point to one terminal and a start symbol should point to uh, if there is a if there if a, if a variable is pointing towards uh, epsilon then it should be the start symbol other than that then you have to you know follow these uh, steps that we are so follow these rules that uh, to remove productions like that right so yeah so to, to remove rules where the right side consists of more than one terminal what we do is we replace this last terminal with another variable so we replace a goes to uh, we goes to we replace b with another variable so u goes to b so this is acceptable but still this is not still acceptable because if there are two uh, if there are two things on the right side it should be two variables but if, if one is a variable and one is a terminal we need to replace that so here comes this step to replace a to uh, replace a rule like this to remove a production like this we, re we make another variable pointing towards this terminal a so g goes to a so now a goes to gu and g goes to a so that's how you remove uh, remove cases like this so these are the five cases that you should watch out for now let's test out our knowledge consider the cfg as goes to ax bx x goes to ay by y goes to x and c x or c so First, let's let's test out your knowledge. What's a variable and what's a terminal here? Start symbol is s. That's fine. Variables are on the left side, so x, s, x, and y. So x and y are variables, and terminals are a, b, and c. Not just because they are small letter or anything. That's because there was no no such rule like c goes to c goes to so, so, some small letter c goes to suppose a, b. If this was if, if there was a rule like this then C would also be considered a variable but it's not right so let's test it out so how would you uh, make turn this grammar into Chomsky normal form so first we replace the variable X is replaced by uh, the epsilon like for example this is a unit unit rule right I mean the unit this is a unit production I mean a unit variable points to another unit variable it should not be like that it should be pointing towards two variables right but this is fine y goes to small letter c that's fine uh, a lowercase c that's fine so what we do is we replace all the x variables with all the possible outcomes of epsilon so x goes to 
sorry uh, we're just gonna be first removing this epsilon not this this is the second step or you could do in the first step also it's all uh, it's up to you you could do it there's no uh, chronological order that you should follow you just need to follow you just need to convert it to chomsky normal forms no matter what so let's do this one let's replace the x goes to epsilon with uh let's remove this production x, x goes to epsilon because if uh, if it goes to epsilon then it has to be a star symbol since x is not a star symbol we have to remove this production so we replace the x's in s goes to a x b x with all the possible combinations of epsilon so a x b x then a x b then a b x so and then a b so this is the this is the resulting uh, production and epsilon is successfully removed from from x right so now we remove the unit production so y goes to x what do we do we just point y goes to x to y goes to all the roots of x so y goes to a y y goes to b y y goes to a and y goes to b and also y goes to c because this was acceptable but this is not acceptable so we replace this rule right now we break up the right hand side of s because this is there are like four variables in terminals that's unacceptable we need to have two variables so what we do is we replace we replace uh uh, all these rules with like this was done in uh, this was done in everything in one step There are there are several steps in, in inter in the, there are several intermediate steps But this is done everything in the, everything is done in one go So e goes to a x a x is this and this a is a small This lowercase a is replaced by uppercase a with another production same goes for um, Same goes for these these rules b y so that's how you would uh, convert like uh, pause this video and check your answer and you would see that after after following the five uh, steps and five rules that you should that uh, to convert to replace uh, to replace rules like these uh, you would obtain the final context free grammar in a chomsky normal form so that's about it for uh, Chomsky normal form. I hope you understood the concept and uh, just know that just try to jot down these five rules while re while revising before the exam. It would be helpful. And uh, yeah, so 